The New England Institute of Technology currently offers the only veterinary technician program in Rhode Island. That's what Nicholas Ramondi tells me. Prior to COVID, we would take in a maximum of 24 students per cohort. Um, we have just recently got permission to increase cohort size to 36. Ramondi is an instructor with New England Tech. He says becoming a vet tech isn't just working with cute animals all day. It's a lot more labor intensive and students need to have a better understanding of medical knowledge than a lot of people realize. Ramondi says it typically takes about two years for an associate's degree, but he says New England Tech students graduate in 18 months because they take classes during the summer. We can't graduate students quick enough to meet the need in the state. That's because of a shortage of people in the veterinary industry we told you about earlier this week. Becoming a veterinarian isn't easy either, and you need at least a bachelor's degree to get into a veterinary school. That's according to Alistair Cribb. And they have to be able to do surgery, take x-rays, do diagnostic tests, do physical exams, prescribe drugs, do everything, and for multiple species. Cummings School of Veterinary Medicine at Tufts University is one of 33 veterinary schools currently in the U.S., and the only school for veterinarians in New England, according to Crib. So we normally admit 100 students. Mm -hmm. We admitted 105 in the fall of 20, 2020. Mm -hmm. And then this fall, we have in our currently in our first year class, we have 104 students. If class sizes were to grow substantially, Cribb says they would need to expand facilities, add more staff, and for those just getting started, it will be a while before they make an impact on the workforce. It won't result in a new graduate for five years. 